I'm so upset. Yes, I'm wearing curlers. Hello? Excuse me, I'm getting messages. They're not showing up. Okay. Listen, remember how I told you I had that 12 hour gap and the dog sitting people canceled? And then I was going to go today to a different dog sitting job. I'm sorry that I look so beautiful. Like, I have so many dark circles right now and little patchy spots. I haven't washed my face yet. <clears throat> basically just got up <laughs> um <coughs> well Yuki and Plato's dad canceled because he got a notification this morning that said somebody at his work tested positive so coronavirus at it again screwing with my life oh, I'm so upset guys that's like $400 that I'm not getting really upset really upset. I know I smiled when I said it, but I'm not happy. I'm smiling so I don't cry. Okay? Yeah. So anyway, um, I'm just gonna vlog Thanksgiving instead of the week, which is what I was planning to do, was vlog the week with my doggy friends. <sighs> I'm so sad. So I'm probably gonna take him a plate of food because that's devastating and I've seen the man's pantry. He doesn't keep a lot on hand and for the first time this year, everything is closed. Like, Walmart is closed and that's a big deal. What is happening? Okay, whatever. Um, so <clears throat> I'm gonna go to my sister's house because she's a little nervy about making mashed potatoes for the first time. I literally love her. Oh my gosh. She's one of my favorite people on the planet. Anyway, she asked me if we had a potato peeler because she doesn't. <laughs> so I'm gonna bring her that. She said, what about a masher? So I'm gonna bring her one of these and one of these. I'm just, I'm bringing all the tools because, um, you know, so yeah, I'm really bummed. And then I'm going to make the rolls there at her house with her. So, um, I got to decide what to wear because it's freaking raining and it's going to be like 70 degrees, 75, excuse me, degrees. Actually, let's ask Alexa. She'll tell us. What's the temperature today? Have a good morning. Thanks. 77. This is ruining all my plans. I have no idea what we're having our party outside. Man, I look pretty. I'm so sorry. This is funny. You're welcome. Should I make this the fun, the, the fun nail? Yeah, the fun nail. The thumbnail. <laughs> Happy Thanksgiving. Um, anyway, so yeah, I have so many like cute brown Thanksgiving-y sweaters picked out. I don't have anything for 77 degrees in the rain. So we're literally having Thanksgiving outside on my mom's big back patio literally our chairs are actually six feet apart everyone's chairs unless you're like in a family like like my sister and her husband will sit together and like my aunt and my uncle will sit you know what I mean but like all the households are six feet apart and we're gonna take turns going inside to get our food and sanitize all the things like the doorknobs and everything in between. I'm telling you, I've said it a bunch of times in multiple vlogs, my family is taking this crazy seriously. We're not gonna wear masks, but being six feet apart, like you don't really need to wear a mask if you're six feet apart usually, um, unless you know you have a projectile cough type situation happening. Anyway, <sighs> so I'm very grateful that we are getting together. I really am because we would and I've told multiple people this. If we didn't try to get together in a safe way, because everybody's worried, we would just all be sitting at home, all safe, sad that we weren't getting together. You know? So, we're being as safe as we can and also getting together. And I'm really happy about that because tomorrow may never happen, you know? And I'm not fine with, you know? You know, I don't want to cry. So, <clears throat> anyway, um, so I gotta figure out what I'm gonna wear. <laughs> I 
and then I'm gonna go to my sister's house and encourage her mashed potato making and make the rolls at her house um, so I don't have to cook here because our kitchen is very small but also it heats up the house so much and my sister you know she's not afraid of touching the AC in Green and Granity have just turned that off okay even though it's 77 <laughs> am I spoiled I'm just accustomed to things but you know what at least I'm not a brat about it I mean I might sound bratty right now but I've had a lot happen I'm sorry I'm very happy that we're getting together I'm really sad that I don't get to dog sit but I'm even more sad that he doesn't get to go home so I'm gonna fix him a plate of something because granny fixed a whole feast of Thanksgiving stuff here for us to have extra leftovers because I'm guessing we're not gonna take leftovers I don't know how that's gonna work anyway whatever I've been talking for a year um, so I'm gonna figure out what to wear and then I'm gonna go to my sister's and then I'll try to vlog a little bit as much as I can of Thanksgiving -y things I'll definitely get a shot of the food because are you even a vlogger if you don't show your Thanksgiving table and um, you know my family does not approve and or enjoy or want to be involved in vlogging or the internet so I probably will not show you anyone's face out of respect for my family um sorry that sounded so me I'm sorry I'm I'm hungry <laughs> I'm fine okay it's all gonna be okay thank you lord for this day um I mean that so yeah I'll talk to you in a bit Girl, I'm not gonna wear this because I am so sweaty. Don't worry, I'm just like out of the driveway. Haven't even gotten onto the main road yet, so I'm gonna put this down. But I got all the stuff. I got up. This is my bag of food product. This is. I'm so out of breath. This is clothing options. This is my purse, and you know all that. So I'm gonna have a Pepsi as soon as I get to my sister's, and then yeah, we're gonna encourage each other in our cooking and baking skills. Okay, I gotta drive now. Luna, come here. Hey, I brought you a present. Who? I brought you a present. <laughs> Come here! Right, so here's the thing. For Thanksgiving, you've got to have pants that are too big so you can eat a whole lot. So, I'm ready. Actually, I'm not wearing this. I'm literally sweating. 77 degrees, are you serious? That's just rude of Mother Nature. Rude. What? That it's 77 degrees on Thanksgiving? I know we're Alabamians, but come on. I didn't. It's been so nice lately. Are you waiting for a treat? Are you waiting for a treat? So pretty? Okay. I get her a treat. I get her a treat. Okay. How do you break these? They're so small. Oh, I got it. It's a good girl. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Angel pie. Okay, that's all. Only get one half. Two halves equal one. Yep, I'm at half. I can make well, you know. Two halves. Okay. Three potatoes. Down. You're doing great. Baby, are you down, down, down? This is 
actually the most adorable thing I've ever seen in my life. When I get a dog, one day in 85 years, when I'm an old woman who's a spinster because no one wants to marry me, um, then I will have a dog tree. Nobody wants and a dog. Nobody wants to marry me. It's fine. You've had ample opportunity. No one just wants to take a stab at it. <laughs> Look at these. Look at these. You've gotten six done. I'm so proud of you. You're yeah. doing a great job. That's all I'm gonna do for the Yukon and then we're gonna go to Russet. Okay. We're very, we're very strict here. Mm -hmm. She's got a she Carmen always follows the recipe <laughs> to the T. Where's my dog? Hey precious. Okay, we're doing it. Everything's happening. We're doing it. <laughs> Perfectly round baby bottoms. Let's cut them up. Are you gonna have enough potatoes? What? Am I making enough potatoes? You have 17 pounds. I'm sure it's fine. I'm only making five pounds. Of potatoes? Yeah. I think that's enough, Shug. No, I do know what five pounds. Five pounds is a bag of sugar. Well, it's, it's one, one, one size of a bag of sugar. There are multiple. Yeah, like the standard bag of sugar. You know what I'm talking about. I do, I do. I know it, darling. I know it. These aren't weight. Yeah, they're more sturdy, hardy, whatever. Mm -hmm. They're harder to cream, though. Look at these beauties. Uh, Look at this stuff. This is me. What do you think my collection is complete? Right. So I'm stabbing a hole on the top. See, that's not really and then I'm gonna put. I know, but it doesn't have to be a boiler for you to boil boil something in it. Wow, boil. I can't. Boil. Boil. Pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. Definitely made pasta in a saucepan before when I had no other choice. You know? Yeah. Maybe, yeah. I'll, maybe I won't need two giant ones. Maybe I'll just need a big one and a regular one. Oh my gosh, I'm so mad. Six, seven and a half pounds. Pound. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna get the scale out. Okay. And I'm gonna see how much is left over that way. We know what we really did. Yeah. But hold on. Scary. Yeah. Every time. Every time. It's fine. We've turned on the fire alarm because my sister forgot to turn the fan on. On the stove. Why is this happening? Shut the door. Shut the door. Okay. This is what we've got going for us. Oh, it's hurt in her ears. She said, go outside, shut the door. It's not my fault you didn't turn on the bloody fan. And she wonders why did the fire alarm go off? <laughs> it's fine. It's, everything's fine. Okay, 
and dandy, like a hard candy Christmas. I'm so worried about these potatoes. They're gonna be fine. What's this? Yeah. yeah. So this is my last batch. Um, they're not as perfect, but we're just gonna call them heirloom. To, uh, what? I, uh, first I almost said tomato, then I almost said potato, but these are actually pumpkin. Okay. Then I gotta brown the top of this and put on makeup. Okay. Welcome to my sister's bathroom. Hello. 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 I got all this stuff. <clears throat> so I'm gonna go put on makeup and then I'm gonna take my hair out. The last thing because of the humidity and kind of the warmth. It's actually cooled off a little or either I just got really hot in here. <laughs> I don't know. Um, so yeah, I, I just don't want my hair to uh, go uh, or uh, you know, I just want it to be cute. So let's do that. I look like half a person now also. I gave this to my sister for Christmas last year. We'll, we'll mix that in better. But look. So cute. Alright, I've just left my sister's. Granny, do you see my rolls that look like pumpkins? I love them. They're just the cutest thing to <laughs> Say hi. <laughs> They're all coming up. Yep. We're wearing gloves to get our food and masks because we're inside the house. So we're being very safe. On my Nobody's face is in it. But I don't make, uh, I don't Nobody's eat the whole cranberry sauce. <laughs> 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 just, just stuff out of the can. It's gotta be out of the can. If it don't have right. the little lines, it's <laughs> 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 I've never tried to make any. I want to just get the cranberry sauce. There's no half of it away.
This is what we got left. Leftovers. And then what we have to put up. I was scared we weren't gonna have enough rolls, but we did. That's all that's left of a Mac. Carmen let me take those mashed potatoes. Okay, so I just left my mom's and I made the guy that I've assisted dog sit for a plate of food because somebody that he works with got corona and now he can't go home for the week with his family and I know that he does not have a Thanksgiving meal prepared for him unless he went to somebody else's house last minute that invited him which probably not because I feel like if he was one of the people who's careful enough to not go home because someone was infected at work he's not gonna go to someone else's house either I don't know but either way I made him a plate I'm sitting right here okay I'm parked at the model home in his neighborhood so nobody thinks I'm like creepy in their driveway and stuff and I'm gonna go drop this off for him because nobody should be without turkey and dressing and cranberry sauce and macaroni and mashed potatoes and green bean casserole and rolls I think that's all I put on there and there's collard greens. I don't like collard greens, but I gave him some. Oh, and uh, deviled eggs. Granny calls them stuffed eggs because we can't love nothing about the devil. Okay, so I'm going to go take him that. And then, yeah, I'm really excited because this would make me really happy if someone did this for me. So I just, I don't know. I hope he doesn't think it's weird. <gasps> is he going to think this is weird? Surely not. It's fine. Okay. I just got home and I, I gave him, well, okay. <clears throat> Rewind. Hi. So I got out of my car and I put my mask on and I rang the doorbell and he didn't come to the door. And I was like, okay, awkward. I hear music inside. And he's like, if he's quarantining and not going home, where would he be? Right. And he has two cars. One's usually in the garage, but one was definitely in the driveway. So, so I knocked after the doorbell stopped. And then, cause he's got like a, a camera, you know, and uh, he didn't come. And I was like, okay, maybe he just doesn't want to see people because quarantine, right? Also, my chin and my nose are really red because I've been wearing a mask and I played with the dog and she licked me and it was horrible. Anyway, so he just texts me back and I'll read you the text message in a little bit because um, I, after I waited for like mm, three minutes, I didn't want to be awkward anymore. And so I just set it down and then um, got in my car and I text him. I left a plate at the door. And then I got a text message from him, which I'll read to you later because it was a chunk and I don't want to misread it or whatever. Anyway, nothing bad, of course. And then um, I just got home and put all the leftovers that I brought home, like the mashed potatoes that my sister made. They were so good. She was so worried, but they were delicious. Um, and Granny made a turkey for us here separately. So now we have mashed potatoes to go with that turkey. Um, and Granny said, because when I came home, they came home separately, we drove separately because I was at my sister's, all that. So, um, when I came home, I put all the stuff in the fridge and Gran goes, well, how do y'all feel about watching a Christmas movie? Because when I came in the door, I said, Merry Christmas! Because, yeah, immediately upon the end of Thanksgiving, it's Christmas. Or, if you're different, it's the end of Halloween, but whatever, live your life. Oh, just a little blush mixing with my beauty marks it's fine anyway so yeah i'm gonna um calm down i'm gonna have a sun kissed because i am treating myself <laughs> and green and granddaddy always bring individual drinks and a cooler to every family gathering so we have extra beverages left and i'm gonna have sun kissed and i'm gonna calm down and sit down and we're gonna watch a christmas movie and then i'll talk to you a little later hi Okay, movie night is over. We watched White Christmas on Netflix, which is um, from the 50s, maybe? Um, it takes course over a span of 10 years, I believe, like right at the end of World War II. Anyway, super cute, very wholesome, okay. as all movies were back then. Anyhoosie, um, 
so I had a precious night with the grandparents. Oh my gosh, this, okay, I have a, um, an LG Stylo 4 is my phone type, and I have a little styling pen, and I really like it a lot. I use it for, um, editing and stuff. Sometimes I do editing on my phone and then put it on my computer. Anyway, um, it fell out of my phone as soon as I got home, so it was sitting on the entryway mat. And I was really nervous about losing it because it'll stay on my phone that your pen is not in your phone. And so that never goes away. And I didn't want to have to buy another one because they're like $15. And, you know. Anyway, I found it and we're excited. Okay, because I worried about that the whole movie. But it's fine. So, um, yeah. Let me read you the text messages from earlier. So, this morning, I woke up to this message. So sad. You saw how whiny and sad I was this morning. But I just hadn't eaten, okay? I was craving turkey, right? <laughs> he said, hey, sorry for the last minute change of plans, but someone I work with tested positive for COVID yesterday, so I'll not be leaving to go to Birmingham for Thanksgiving. And I said, oh no, okay, such a bummer. Broken heart emoji. I'm sorry. The broken heart, it was for him, but it was really for me, okay? As selfish as that is. And then I text him, like I told you, later tonight, and I said, I left you a plate at the door. And about 15 minutes later, he texted me back and he said, okay, wow, thank you. You didn't have to do that. I appreciate it. Hope you had a happy Thanksgiving. And I said, I did have to. I've seen the inside of your pantry. Ha ha, just kidding. No one should have to be quarantined without their family and not have turkey. And just so you know, my mom literally made us wear gloves and masks to dip out food. Then we all went outside and sat six feet apart to eat. Literally. Ha ha. So no germs for you. Happy Thanksgiving. I'm thankful for you and the pups. And then he never texts back. But honestly, he's not a good texter. We rarely talk. Um, I said before, I don't really know him too well. I feel like he's a really good guy and whatever. But I just hang out with his dogs I've actually only met him a couple times in person um I just have a key to his house and come stay when he leaves you know I don't really um know him well but I just felt like if it were me oh I might cry I'm fine if it were me and all of a sudden my plans the morning of got canceled for me to go see my family for a week and then I didn't all and you know normally like Walmart and Target and stuff are open on Thanksgiving Day a lot of stores are open for early Black Friday sales on Thanksgiving and even during the day for last minute shoppers for Thanksgiving food almost no stores were open Publix was closed Target was closed Walmart was closed regular grocery stores usually closed too so there was no way that he could have gone shopping to get any Thanksgiving foods. I mean, he probably ate at Waffle House today, you know, which that's delish, but nobody wants to do that on Thanksgiving, especially when he was planning on going home to his mom and dad's house to have a freaking home-cooked meal, Thanksgiving feast meal, okay, with his family. I mean, we're from the South. Birmingham, it's not like Southern Southern, but it's still the South. And I would have been devastated. If because some dweeb that I work with went and got sick and then I had to cancel my plans. Mm. So I felt like the man needed a plate of turkey, okay? I took him, I think I already told you, cream bean, cream bean casserole and yeah, I told you all in the car. It's been, it's been a few hours, okay? It's been a long day. But I, I freaking had a great day. You know what? I was really stressed this morning when I first got his text message because all I could think about was the hundreds of dollars that I'm not getting in combination of losing his dog sitting job and the one that I was supposed to do yesterday. So that was really stressful. And then like, you know, family drama. I'm, nobody in my family is like straight up mean to each other. Nobody hates each other. We all pretty much communicate and get along and we deeply love each other but you know sometimes family tensions are awkward I was a little concerned you know my sister's pregnant um so I'm gonna have another nephew my baby nephew is gonna have a baby brother are you kidding <coughs> uh oh <coughs> not corona related I just had a little extra saliva in there I'm fine um <laughs> uh -huh. pardon my noises anyway um 
So like, you know, you never know what's gonna happen with the fam. And then it's an extra tension-y weird year because the year sucks and because we couldn't hug. We didn't hug. You saw, we all wore masks. I just read you the message, okay? We wore gloves inside and then we went in by each family to get our food and then we went outside and sat in our space. You saw it all, okay? So none of that was exaggerated for a vlog. That is how we really did it because we love each other and we want to be safe and so anyway, I had a freaking amazing time, even though it was really weird, kind of weird, it was weird, but it kind of was fun, I don't know, I can't explain it, wearing gloves and masks and going into kitchen, it was like a game, it was like a play, it was like a movie, I, I don't know, silver lining, it's weird, I, I didn't like, I don't know, I just made the best of it and I enjoyed it and I'm extremely grateful on this, the day of thanks, okay, <laughs> I just... I'm so happy that I got to see my family today because I thought I wasn't going to. I wasn't even sure we were going to have Thanksgiving. We literally just planned this like a week and a half ago, okay? And I know a lot of people haven't been able to be with their families this year. And I know a lot of people that stayed home and didn't go see their families. Just like this guy and like really close friends that had to stay home because they're in a whole other city and they can't go stay with their family and stuff and I'm just really really grateful that it was very easy for us to put on some gloves and a mask and dip food and then go outside and take off our gloves and masks and eat and laugh and still be in each other's company you know so I'm really happy and I hope that you had some happiness today and today kind of sort of felt normal for you and that you just had a happy Thanksgiving and you know what if you didn't and you're feeling sad it's okay that you're sad and that you don't feel okay and I'm sorry for you if that's the case because I have felt the empathy for all <laughs> of the people because I, I mean I thought that was going to be me so it was in your shoes for a bit you know um but either way I hope that you are safe even if you're not okay but I do hope that you are happy and feeling safe and happy. And um, I'm grateful for you. I don't even know some of you. You know what? A bunch of random people watching me post this video. <laughs> I will see you in my next video. Or at least you'll see me. <laughs> happy Thanksgiving. And guess what? Now it's officially Christmas. <laughs> Wait, I gotta watch the Charlie Brown Thanksgiving movie episode, whatever, I'm gonna watch that, I know I just watched a Christmas movie, but I forgot to watch that this morning, I was actually gonna watch it while I was dog sitting and the dog sitting didn't happen, my whole day was just messed up, so I'm gonna watch that because it's still officially Thanksgiving, it's not even midnight yet, look at me being up like earlier. <laughs> what that didn't make sense it's not that late okay whatever so i am crossing that off my fall bucket list and then we can start on a christmas bucket list <laughs> night